Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to take a look at the Leo Photo LH55 ball head. This is a low profile ball head and it has the P60 uh, panning feature built into it in addition to having a really nice lever lock mechanism. And I was thinking about, you know, the, the best way to kind of do a review on this ball head. And so I thought what I'll do is I'll share my criteria for making the purchase myself. That's right, you heard me say making the purchase. So this is not a paid review. Uh, I bought this ball head with my own money and so my opinions will be my own. No further ado, let's jump in. We'll take a look at this thing. So what do you get when you purchase this ball head? First of all, I purchased mine off of eBay. It was $246 US. And I'm not a huge fan of box openings, but I thought there was a couple of things on the box I wanted to point out. So I'll do a quick one for you and then at least you know what you're gonna get in the box. So it comes with a really nice uh, you know, bag here, which I'll probably never use. Nice little leather accent on the bottom. But if you need to store it or travel with the ball head or something like that, then you know it's a nice little touch. Uh, what I noticed on the box here was a 10-year warranty and I think you know a company that's going to warranty something for 10 years they're you know they're planning to stand behind their product so that's a good thing um, and then some details on the top of the box this is LH55 ball head one thing I should note is that on the website I noticed that the panning head it refers to a PCL 70 and this is it clearly says on the plate and on the panning part of the head, PCL60. Now, it's of no consequence to me, but just something to watch out for, so, you know, so you're not confused if you go on the site and you're gonna purchase. And when I purchased off of eBay, I was actually purchasing from, uh, this is leophotousa.com, and they give you this little coupon for 15% off of your next purchase. So if you purchase from the U Leo Photo USA, you, they're going to give you 15% off your next purchase. So that's better than a poke in a bum with a sharp stick. And then you get a little bag here uh, for your, you know, your user manual. There's a quality control card. And then there's a uh, Allen key. There's a quarter 20 to 3816 adapter and a little multi-tool down the bottom here. All nice little features. And uh, yeah. So there's the box opening. And uh, one thing to point out I think that's important is that the mounting, the main mount for the ball head is 3816 on the bottom. So they give you the little adapter in case you wanna go to quarter 20. But keep in mind, this is a fairly chunky ball head. Um, you know, my uh, camera stand here, the mount is 3816 and I did it that way for extra support. So just something to think about. Okay, so let's start off with the plate uh, that comes with the ball head. And so you're gonna get an Allen key that comes with the ball head and that's to tighten up the screw on the bottom here. But you've got a couple other screws here on the plate and a couple other screws here. So this one Allen key that comes with the ball head is gonna fit your thumb screw on the bottom. It's also gonna fit this guy here. If it ever came loose, you wanna tighten it up or you wanna pull this thing off and substitute it with another type head. Uh, you'd have the option to do that. So one Allen key. Now you've got a second Allen key over here and what that is for is and this, this Allen key did not come with the ball head, but just so that you know, so if you ever want to adjust the throw on the uh, clamping part here, you will need a second Allen key for that. And then you'll need two other Allen keys uh, to make adjustments to the plate itself. And so this Allen key here, you can loosen the screw uh, on the bottom of the plate. So you may wanna take, these are positive locks and so basically what they're doing is when the plate is locked into the ball head like so, those two screws, I can't imagine why you'd want to take them out. They're giving you an extra layer of security to make sure your camera doesn't slide out inadvertently. But, uh, you know, you have that option. So if you take that out, the other thing that you may want to do is these two screws here on the end you can loosen those screws, which raises up the little tab on this end, so that if you're installing your camera and you don't even want to think about it, you can install it in, and you know your Arca Swiss is going to hit against the hard stop. Um, and that's really all there is to the, the plate itself. If you've got a camera that has an Arca Swiss plate on the bottom of the camera, then you can just slide it in and clamp it up, and away you go. 
So last but not least, you get this little tool that comes with uh, the ball head itself, and I honestly have no idea what this thing is supposed to be uh, used for. I mean, any of the adjustments that you're going to make are so straightforward here. You've got a panning action with this lever here. You have a tension knob on the ball, which is this uh, lever right here. And then your main uh, ball release is this guy uh, over here. And, oh, I must have the tension tightened up. There we go. Yep. And then, so just tighten it up like so. And what I like about this ball head is that, you know, I'm right-handed, like most of us are. I think 80% of the population is right-handed. I think 70 or 80%, something like that. So you're holding on to your camera like this. You can release the ball like this, and you can position your uh, uh, camera fairly easily. So uh, very well thought out. You know, it's a low-profile design. It's not going to stick up and get in the way. So... A uh, great feature, really. So what was the criteria for making the purchase for this ball head? So there was three main criteria, maybe four. First of all, I didn't want to spend $800 on a really right stuff ball head because, you know, this is obviously uh, directly competing with the BH55 from really right stuff. Um, this cost me $246 US, so about $321 here in Canada, something like that. And so, yeah, I wanted something that was a little bit more budget friendly. Uh, number two, I wanted something that was going to carry uh, a great amount of weight. And I'm going to show you the rig that I'm mounting on this thing so that you'll understand. And then and number three, and this was probably my number one uh, criteria, and that is I wanted the lever lock. I've got lots of ball heads, you know, that I've used over the years that have the twisty knobs or the... the uh, you know, the dials on them here. I wanted something that was gonna speed up my workflow. It's just gonna be like, open the lever and away we go. And so that's my three main criteria for making the purchase for this ball head. So now we'll just do a quick walkthrough on how this ball head operates. And so if you loosen the panning knob, which is this guy right here, you can pan like this. You can turn this knob here. You can put more or less tension on the ball. And then of course you can release the ball by turning this knob over here. Now, if you're mounting your camera on here, the lever lock, uh, basically, let me tighten this up here, locks in like so. If you, let me turn this so you can see it. If you bring it to halfway, your camera's not going to fall out. So even if you hook that, hit that clip somehow, by some miracle, uh, this thing popped open. Unless you take it all the way, you can't get your plate or your camera out. So when it's in the, the intermediate position like so, it's still safe. It's in the camera's not going to fall off the head and then lock it down like so. And then last but not least, if you turn this dial here, you've got this panning feature. So if I turn this around like this and I loosen the ball, you've got a pretty decent range of motion. Um, so if you wanted to do like a gimbal effect, uh, I don't know why you would, but you, you might have a need to shoot something straight down, then you've got a couple options for doing so uh, with this ball head. So really uh, well thought out, well designed piece of kit. So next up, I wanted to show you the actual rig that I'm using mounting on this ball head. So this is my Sony a7 III. I've got a small rig full cage a Sony 50mm f1.2. It's not the lightest lens on the planet. I've got a radio trigger from Godox. And then if I spin this puppy around, you can see I've got the Ninja 5 uh, with the sun hood. And look at the honking battery on the back of this thing. So this is a bit of weight, uh, you know, so I definitely wanted a, a ball head that was going to support this. I could walk away and have a little bit of confidence and not, uh, you know, worry about my nice expensive kit being all banged up. So a couple of quick things before I wrap this up. There's your 3 8 uh, 16 mount on the, th so this is where my ball head is going to live 90% of the time unless I take it out into the field. And then if you look on the bottom of the Leo photo, they've gone the extra step of using a brass fitting here uh, for your insert. And this is where your insert would screw into. So if you want to go uh, drop this down to a quarter 20, you basically just take this little insert and screw it in place like that. But like I say, I prefer to have the 3816. It's a little bit beefier. It's gonna give you a little bit more support. Um, to wrap this up, all in all, I think this is a great piece of kit. I think there's really good value for the money here. 236 bucks US, three 
I think 330 or 326 Canadian. Uh, so for me, I'm quite happy with the purchase. Uh, you know, if I come back in a year crying in my beer because something's broken on it, I mean, we'll see. Uh, time will tell, but it certainly looks like a really nice piece of kit. And I've been quite happy with it over the last two, three weeks since I've had it. And uh, so if you're looking for something that has the quick release, uh, this is an option and you don't want to spend the big bucks with really right stuff. I would say check out Leo Photo. And uh, with that, I'm going to thank you guys for watching. If you found the video useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like and smack the notification bell for me. And for heaven's sake, if you have questions, I mean, connect in and ask away. I'm happy to hear any, any comments or questions. Uh, until next time, uh, see ya.